this is a really good affordable option with a lot of great upgrades in the right places for it. So let's go over that for just a minute. We're Slick Rock Productions, and I want to talk to you real quick about transmissions. Um, the 1K platform is one of our favorite platforms out there. They're very prominent out on the trails, um, but, but they have transmission problems. If you, have, if you have one of these or you have a buddy who has one, you've probably heard about all this stuff. The, uh, the reverse chain is horrible, and the snorkel gears are weak in them, and they break. And a lot of times when they break, they break the casing in them. So when you break one of those and you're looking about replacing the casing, you're about gears and bearings, it becomes pretty expensive. This is a really good affordable option with a lot of great upgrades in the right places for it. So let's go over that for just a minute. So like I said, this is a drop-in transmission. The, uh, the geared um, reverse on this is three times stronger than it is on OEM. That's a pretty substantial difference. The upgraded pinion and snorkel gear are two and a half times stronger. You can see on here, they're a lot better. And also these are hob cut gears. This is the super ATV gear. This is the factory gear. Being hob cut means you get a lot better meshing out of it. You get a lot better contact out of it. It transfers torque without putting so much strain on everything else because of the contact on it. It's a lot quieter and it'll serve you better over a long time. The, uh, the casing itself has got a lot of upgrades in it. It's been gusseted in a lot of the weak spots on it. It's actually thicker in a whole bunch of the spots. It's got more cooling fins on it to keep it cool, which is a really big deal in itself. When those casings break, it's a nightmare and it's a whole bunch of work. So having a stronger casing to back all this stuff up is super important on there. The pinion gears and the shaft, is, they're made out of 9310 steel. Um, the front shaft is 300M. You can see on the gears, these are a lot bigger. They're made out of a lot better material. You're gonna get a lot more longevity out of it. We have a six millimeter pinion plate on here. That's a six bolt system instead of a four bolt system. So this is a lot stronger. All the weak points in this transmission have been addressed. This is a lot better unit. Like I said, it's drop in. And one of the really cool things about it is, is you can get it with whatever gear reduction you want in it. So you can get a 12.5% gear reduction. You can get a 25% gear reduction. You can get a 35 or 37.5% reduction. So if you're running a lot bigger tires like we do, if you can go a lot lower gear in the transmission, um, it performs a lot more like an OEM style car does. So the mud guys like that a lot, the rock crawlers like that. But if you're running an oversized tire, we highly suggest you get a gear reduction in there because it's a lot less stress on the components. This transmission is going to outlast an OEM by a large margin. We're going to stick it pinky here. We're going to put some miles down. Um, we'll obviously do a review on this down the road a little bit and tell you what we think. We're going to do an installation video for any of you guys who are interested in doing this and want some pointer tips to it. So pay attention to the next video, but certainly click on the link below and check out these transmissions. Pulling up black windows once you go down. You must be crazy if you think that I'ma slow down. But wanna hear it talking shit from the drama. Coming up and said you took your mama. Mr. Whip 